Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin lecturing computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to create a Pareto chart in Excel 2013. So before we create, set out to create our chart let's take a look at the finished product. Here on my right hand side I've got my Pareto chart and this is based on data over on the left hand side. Here I have got some complaint types um, in a hotel and I've recorded data on different types of complaints over a period of time and I've used these data then to create my Pareto chart. So a typical Pareto chart will look like uh, this one here with uh, blue columns representing the complaint type and the red cumulative line representing the cumulative percentage which will always end up at 100% on the right hand side. So let's see how we go about creating this chart. So I'm going to switch to a separate new worksheet here with my, with my original data on it. So I've got my complaint types uh, by category and my number of complaints recorded over a period of time for each of these uh, um, types of different types of complaints here. So my first thing that I want to do is I want to rank order my number of complaints from highest to lowest. So that's fairly straightforward to do. So I'm just going to select with my mouse column B, select the entire column. And then in the home ribbon, over on the extreme right hand side, there is the sort and filter tool, so select that. And here you've got several options to sort from smallest to largest, and also to sort from largest to smallest, and that's the one I want. So I'm going to click on the sort largest to smallest option here. Um, a sort warning box appears asking me should I want to expand the selection or continue with the current selection. So I'm going to accept the default, expand the selection here. This means that my complaint types will also change as well as the number of complaints. So click on sort. So all that's simply done th there is to sort my number of complaints from highest to lowest. So I can see, for example, now that the room service uh, has recorded the most complaints, 287, followed by reservations and so on, right down to the bottom where you've got one complaint related to documentation. So the next thing I need to do now is to work out the cumulative number of each of these complaints. So I'm going to type in here in column C, the cumul cumulative number. wider and my cumulative number is I want to add these numbers of complaints up until I get a total number of complaints. So the first cumulative one is, uh, I'm going to use formulas here, is just e simply equal to the first value 287 for room service so that, that's equals to B2 so press equal B2 and, and click on enter and then the next cumulative one is this value here in cell C2 plus this value here in cell B3 so I want to get the cumulative number here so the next thing here is just uh, type in equals. Uh, with my mouse I'm selecting cell C2 and then type in plus and with my mouse I'm selecting now cell B3 and press enter. So you can see here that the cumulative value of 442 is actually uh, 287 plus 155. And with Excel now I can use the autofill tool so move your mouse over the bottom right hand corner of cell C4 you'll see the mouse changing to crosshairs and then just drag down um, that, that box there to give you my cumulative number of complaints. So in total I can see that there are 691 complaints. Next I want to convert that to a percentage. So I'm going to give it a heading, cumulative percentage. And to work out the percentage formula is relatively straightforward here. So I need to know the total value which is 691 and that's in cell C16 and I need to be able to calculate the cumulative percentage for each of the values here. So let's do go ahead and do that. There's a few ways you can do this but I'm just going to show a simple way. So type in equals and I need an opening bracket. So the first value I want to work out the percentage of is the uh, value in C2 uh, there, and then follow that by the slash to indicate a um, division and I want to divide that by the total and that's the value in cell C16. Now, if you're familiar with absolute values, I need to convert this um, value here, C16, into an absolute cell value. And the easiest way to do that is that when you have your value typed in like this here, just click at the mouse on it anywhere on the value and press the F4 key, and that will put the dollar sign in front of and after the letter C in this case. And that creates an absolute cell reference, so I will always hold the value in C16 in my formulas to follow. Closing bracket, and then just multiplying that by 100 to convert to 2%. So we can see here, for example, that uh, 287 is 41% of 691. So let me just tidy that up a little bit and change the uh, format uh, of the numbers after the decimal point. I'm just going to change it to two decimal places. 
makes it a little bit tidier. And as before, I'm just going to copy that formula down here to the end. And that should, in the end, as it does, total up to 100%. So I've now worked out the components I need to draw my Pareto chart. I've got my complaint types in column A, I've got my number of complaints in column B, and now I've got the cumulative percentage in column B. So let's go and draw the chart. Uh, to do this, I need to select three out of the four columns that are listed here. So I'm going to select all the data in column A, uh, press down my control key, and with my mouse select all the data in column B. I'm going to skip column C, and still holding down the control key, I'm selecting all the data in column D. So I've selected A, B, and D here. I now want to insert the chart, so I'm going to switch over to the Insert ribbon across the top. And I'm going to go with the Recommended Charts here. And so I'm going to click on Recommended Charts. Now there isn't an option in Excel yet uh, to create a Pareto chart, but there are some charts very, very similar to it that we can make small modifications to convert. So you can see here that the Recommended Charts, um, none of them actually um, give us what we need. So I'm going to change from the Recommended Charts tab to the All Charts tab here. And the one I'm going to look for here on the left-hand side is the combo, because I want the combination of the red line and the columns that you see here. Now, we're almost there. Uh, you can see that the uh, Pareto chart that's shown here is very similar to the one I had at the beginning of the video. And one thing I need to do down here is for the cumulative percentage, that's represented by the red line, you can see on the right-hand side of the thumbnail here, there's no axis. So to put an axis in there, I just click in the bottom right-hand corner beside cumulative percentage, the second secondary axis checkbox, and you can see now that the red line is uh, now plotted uh, where we would expect it to be on the chart. So that's the chart drawn there, so just click OK. Just move it up here and make it a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. Now my chart is very much like a pre chart. There's a couple of things I want to change on this. On the secondary axis here on the right-hand side, um, you can see that um, Excel has uh, given the maximum value of 120, so we just want that to be 100%. So if I select the values, right-click, and choose uh, Format Axis here, uh, we can Excel displays and our axis options, and we can see in the maximum bounds, 120 is listed. So just simply change that to 100 and press Enter. And I'm going to move away my format axis here. So now I've got my Pareto chart. And I can see now that my um, blue bars across the bottom represent each of the different types of room complaints. My red line represents the cumulative percentage. And if I move my mouse over the red line, I can see after item number 3, uh, which has a value of 80, 80.03, uh, that represents 80%. Uh, because we can see on the right-hand side that that value approximates to 80 over here. So that value of 80% tells us that 3 of the 15 items, which is 20% of the 3 items, represents 80% of all the complaints. So the Pareto principle here applies. 20% uh, of our complaint types account for 80% of the overall numbers of complaints. So we, then we can use this then um, um, in quality control then to uh, tackle room service, reservations and cleaning as the items that will improve over the overall number of complaints by reducing them by tackling these tri uh, critical few items uh, as opposed to tackling the, the trivial items towards the end. So that's how you create a pre chart in Excel 2030. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.